Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we're working on a large pool pack unit. A lot of people have been asking me how do I properly check a transformer and that's what we're gonna do today. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to properly check a transformer. This is our control panel. And over here we can see two transformers. One, two, and we actually have two more up here. One, two, I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly check one and a little background on transformers. Let's start with this transformer. So this is a step down transformer. You have two sides to it. One, two. One side is going to be our primary with our incoming voltage. And the second one is going to be our secondary. And that's going to be our voltage leaving. We have an input and an output. So if you look on this tag here, hopefully you get some numbers on there. Try to zoom in. All right, so this is our transformer. I can't get a clear shot of the diagram here. So basically it says that on top, H1, which is the two, and terminal six is your high voltage. So two and six, we should have 460 volts. So there's two here, six. Between these two, we should have 460. That's gonna be our primary coil. Our secondary coil is gonna be these two, labeled as one and four. And between one and four on this diagram, we should be getting 115 volts. So primary 460, secondary 115. And what this transformer does is it steps down the voltage. So we're gonna you get an incoming power of 460 and then it's going to drop it down to 115. I'm going to pull out my meter and show you how to check this. Alright, so here's my meter. I'm going to set my meter to volts AC. Make sure the power is on. So like we said, this side is our primary. And we should be getting 460 volts according to the diagram and according to how this is wired. You always want to check your diagram because just because you have a reading doesn't mean it's the correct one. You want to make sure this is wired for a certain voltage and you're getting that voltage. So this says it's wired for 460 volts. So I'm going to take my two leads, put one on terminal 2 and one on terminal 6. I'm going to go across the primary. And if you guys can see on my meter, I am getting 485 volts. So we have our 460. Now, to see if this is good, let's see if it is sending out our 115 volts for our pri uh, secondary coil. So I'm just going to take my two leads, put one on one side and one on the other. And between here, we should be reading 115. And if you guys can see on my meter, I am getting 120 volts. So that's how you check a transformer. It's as simple as that. Check the, check the primary voltage, see if you're getting it. And then check your secondary voltage and see if you're getting it. We got our 460 for our primary and we got our 115 for our secondary. We have a good transformer. Here's our second transformer. Can't really see in the diagram, but what it says is that between H1 and H4, we should be getting 460 volts. It's gonna be between this wire and between this wire. All right, so then we have a secondary, which is X1 and X2. And between these two wires, between these two, we should be getting 115. So now we know our voltages. Let's see if we're getting them. I'm gonna step down transformer. Your primary voltage is always gonna be the higher voltage rating and your secondary voltage, your lower voltage rating is gonna be your secondary. So between H1 and H4, which is these two wires, we should be getting 460. So all we do is check across the primary. And right there on my meter, I am getting 483 volts. So we do have our primary voltage. 
next between X1 and X2, we should be getting 115. So we're gonna take the leads and just check across. Between those two, we have 125 volts. So we do have our 115. And now this is a good transformer. A lot of times what I see is you have your incoming power, your primary voltage, but coming out, it's not stepping it down and you don't have the voltage coming out on your secondary. So that's a very common issue. Uh, also for your secondary, a lot of times you might see a manual reset. So there might've been a trip on that line. You could have a short somewhere, a ground, whatever it is that could trip and you can reset it and always check for that trip because it might just be as, as simple as resetting that switch and you're gonna have your secondary voltage. And uh, that's pretty much it. If I was to check those next two, I would do the same thing. Oh look, you guys could actually see the trip, the breaker on the transform. I'm gonna give you guys a shot of that so you guys can see for the future. So here's the next transformer in the unit. You can see this has multi-voltages. You see these are taped off. So this can be wired for 120, 208, 240, or 480 for your primary. And we can see we have a white and black. So we're gonna go on the label here and white and black. White is your common and black is your 120 volts. So between these two wires, when you check across them, you should be getting 120 volts. That's your primary. And your secondary is blue and yellow. And that's only for 24 volts, you can't change that. So between the yellow and the blue, if you put your leads across them, you should be getting 24 volts and that's how you check this transformer. And right there, there's a little reset switch. It says 3.7 amps. So if something trips out the 24 volts, uh, or if it gets grounded, whatever it is, it's gonna trip this breaker. So you'll have your incoming and you won't have your outgoing. So you definitely want to check to see if this is tripped before condemning the transformer because you might have an issue on your control side. So in summary, you're going to want to know what your primary voltage and your secondary voltage should be. You're going to put your meter across it, across each uh, coil, your primary coil and your secondary coil and check for voltage. If you're getting the values, your transformer is good. If you're getting voltage in your primary and you're not getting in the secondary, double check to see if your secondary has a breaker switch like these. If not, you got a bad transformer. If that trip, you gotta look into the secondary side of your system and trace that out to see what's going on. I also made a video on what is a transformer and how does it work. I highly recommend watching that before testing any transformers. It's important to understand the theory behind them before you can check them. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.